This is a demonstration of why you want to overlap your vectors instead of butting them up next to each other when you're extruding objects that are going to be next to each other. Here I have two sets of vectors. The ones above are two square vectors that are sitting next to each other. Below are two vectors that are butting or overlapping each other. I'm going to do a couple of simple extrusions. Let's uh, use a height of maybe one millimeter for that. Let's go with 20 millimeters. All right. Now, right next to that, <clears throat> in the same layer, I'm going to maybe do a 15 millimeter extrusion next to it. Or let's just try the same 10 millimeter extrusion. Close enough. So what you're going to have, or you have the potential of, if those vectors aren't perfectly aligned right up against each other, is you have the potential of creating a gap between those two objects when you don't want one. So if we try the same thing down here, Let's extrude that 20 millimeters, apply, and then next to it, I'm going to put it in a separate layer. Let's go with twenty millimeters also. So you can see there's no gapping at all. And if for some reason, let's say, for example, you wanted one of them higher than the other, like you wanted this vector to be a little bit taller, but you don't want it to extend beyond and into this other one, You can just grab this vector here and cut into it using that same vector you created the other layer with. And that's going to guarantee that it begins and ends exactly where you wanted it to. But at the same time, you're not going to have any gapping in between there. So uh, I overlap everything as much as I can for that reason. It's to avoid gaps between objects. Thanks.